Hey everyone, welcome back to Denise Dives In. Today I wanted to wrap some presents with you for my, she'll be 17 months right before Christmas. So right now she's just into like Frozen, clearly. Um, she likes Frozen, she likes um, Raya the Last Dragon. So I got her a Tuck Tuck toy as well. Hold on, let's see if the Tuck Tuck toy fits in this section. Because technically, Dominic picked this out. Dominic's my son. Dominic picked this out for her at Walgreens, so I don't really want to like wrap that for him um, because this is her Santa paper. So yeah, I better just use. I'm just gonna do these two. If you hear toys, that's Jane playing. Dominic's at school, but um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. So there's been lots of things happening in my household. Um, we decided to um, do something that was probably not like the smartest thing in Dave Ramsey's world, um, but if you've been around my channel for the last few months, I've been telling you how we've been struggling with trying to get a house because my husband now works on commission. We both used to have management jobs in Quick Trip, it's a gas station. And we moved to Arkansas and he changed like profession things. And then I changed, if any of this is super loud, I apologize. But I don't wanna just like, sit and talk to the camera. Um, so, um, I am a stay at home mom now and he is in commission sales. So they will not lend you money for a mortgage if you don't have like, she's silly. If you don't have some sort of, uh, transfer of like the same type of job or you've been in commission for two years so it we've lived renting for a year now and I just feel like I'm throwing my money away and I decided that we were going to empty our 401ks and buy a house so that's what we did <laughs> Um, again, Dave Ramsey would say, absolutely not. Don't do that. I've seen people do worse things with their 401k. So I just thought it was the best decision for us to make at the time. Cause what we want to do is, whoop, sorry, um, get a house and then fix it up. If it needed anything like updating or whatever, um, where we were looking is a, um, an elderly type community area and with that there's like just older houses and people don't really update them because they're elderly and they don't either have the time or patience or they just have a different style than us you know so and there's nothing wrong with that some of the stuff i actually really like in the house that we bought so i'll try to salvage whatever i can um but you know just like um i think the house was built I've gotten like 15 different answers. Um, I heard that it was built in 82, 83, 87. So regardless, I was born in 87. So it's at least my age um, and it's just outdated. The You can tell it's like the original bathroom tiles and things like the tiles in the bathroom are pink um the toilets do look like they've been replaced because i feel like back in the day the tile would match the toilet would match everything so that's been updated but the shower stalls have not been the master bedroom blue and then the the one in the like kids bathroom i guess i want to say is going to be pink um, which is fun for now, but we do eventually want to update those things and the cabinets are just like a blonde color, um, which to me, I don't really care so much, but I do want to eventually have it as like a rental. So 
if I can clean it and get it nice and pretty, like, so be it. But, um, I don't think they're, they're not in bad shape. Um, one thing I do not like though is the countertops in the kitchen are like a tile, um, like just like bigger tiles. So there's like a grout line and everything on them. I don't know why they used to do that. I think it's, I just feel like I'd always want like a flat surface and like, how do you have a flat surface if you have grout lines and things? Oh yeah. Hi. Um, Dave's playing. Um, so I mean, there's things to update and do. Um, so we bought a house with our 401k money and we still have some left over. Um, I do want to sit down and figure out like an emergency fund and things so that we have that baby step done. Um, I feel like we have enough money to have it done like right now. I just haven't sat down and done it. So it's been a process with this stinking house. So I haven't been making videos because this all started um, basically when I released my last video. So we had decided to pull the trigger on getting the 401ks out. And so we started getting the 401ks out and getting that all situated. And then we found a house that we really liked. It's next to an empty lot and there's just trees and beautifulness next to it. And there's these big, huge windows in each room and we just fell in love with it, right? Um, you could tell that it was older. You could tell that the HVAC was on its last leg and if it even had a leg. And then you could tell that the roof was bad, right? But it was under undervalued, like according to like the comps in the area and stuff like that. It was being sold as is. And we were fine with that. We were fine with um, getting it inspected and going from there kind of thing. Um, this was just visual inspection of like what we saw and needed, right? So we had it inspected and the roof was shot. The roof was like 30 years old and the HVAC was also about, I think they said it was 93 and that's when Alex was born. So the HVAC was like 28 years old. I don't know how it was working at all. And the roof was about the same age. So we bid a certain amount and with all of those expenses, I was kind of like, Ooh, I don't know about that. Cause we won the bid, had it inspected and that's what they said. But then they come back and say, Oh, well there's an insurance claim on the roof and there's a home warranty claim on the HVAC. And I was like, Oh, that's cool. So we went ahead and went through with all of those things. Um, and we were originally supposed to close because we were cash closed. So we didn't have to like do like the month or whatever that you normally have to do. If you've ever bought a house, usually it's like a 30 day close, but we said two weeks cash close. Um, so the seller didn't have to worry about financing and things like that. And we just wanted to make our offer lucrative because we really did like this house. It's in a really cool area. Um, like there's mountain biking trails and Dominic's school is like super close and like a really like cool looking school. And there's like a hospital right across the street from the school and things. So I just really like the area. Um, I don't love the streets and things, but it's, you got to give and take. Like there's not going to be absolutely everything on your list and it'd be absolutely perfect, you know? So regardless, um, we had to keep pushing out closing. So I was going to like make an updated video of this is what's going on because I thought we were going to move in, like be moved in already. So I thought we were going to have the house by November 5th. That's when we decided to close. And then, um, move like do the, the couple things that we wanted to do to the house before we moved in during the month and then be moved in December 1st, no more paying rent. Right. That was my original plan. So they tell us, Oh no. We, we cannot move forward if we're waiting on these claims for the roof and the 
home warranty. So that happened. Then it was like pushed like a week out. They're like, oh yeah, they can have it done by such and such date. And I was like, okay. We still were heading with our plan of getting it done by um what's the word? Uh, getting it done by like November, like let's say like 12th or something, which was putting a crunch on things at this point. Like I was like kind of panicking. I didn't think we'd get everything done that we wanted to before we moved in because the number one thing that we want to get done is the ceilings for popcorn. So I wanted to get those scraped and there's like weird lighting things going on. Like there's no like, oh, like ceiling light in this house. So I wanted to get those things like squared away. <clears throat> so we get those things squared away and the, and then it runs into Thanksgiving. So we get to Thanksgiving and they're like, okay, so we're not, you're not even on the schedule for the roof. So they were going to do it December or November 29th and 30th and it just kept getting pushed, right? So we had to pay rent here one more month and so be it. So we had to pay rent one more time and the house is ours now. We signed the paperwork and everything. And my, uh, it's Alex's stepdad and he is like kind of a handyman contractor kind of person and he's scraping the ceilings right now. And I just didn't want to do budgets because if you've ever bought in a house, you just know that there's, okay, this security deposit fee, this needs a toilet seat, this needs an air filter, this needs that, and all of these things. And we had been saving up money to do a house for a while. So we had money set aside for it, but I didn't want it to be like, okay, this is my budget and these are all the extra things I spent and it be just... Like, I mean, I know I can budget for those things. I can say, okay, like this is the money that we had for moving and this is what I spent out of it. But I just kind of wanted to get it started and go from there because I don't know what else is gonna come up um, house-wise. And I do want to sit down and figure out, okay, this is our emergency fund. This is how much money we have that we wanna put towards the house and just kind of go from there. I do think I wanna start doing like a cash envelope system where we take the cash out minus the bills and we just say, okay, this is how much money we have. Where do we need to put the money? What do we wanna sink the money into? Because I think it'll work better than just having a big pot of money that we like just take from all the time. Um, I haven't completely made up my mind on what I want to do yet, but I just didn't want my videos to be, okay, here's my budget and we completely screwed up the budget because I had to cancel this. I had to start this pro this new utility service. I had to, there was just a lot. Um, and we could have gotten some deposits like waived. Um, we we're moving to a different city. So all I had to do was show that we paid or like get a letter from the city we live in now saying that we have paid 12 months, but we just hit the 12 month mark. So I didn't even think that that was going to be a thing. I thought we were going to be moving on the 11th month and I'm like, that's not 12 months. So I just didn't want to deal with it and I don't mind putting the deposit down. It's a thing you have to do. I get it. Um, but so just everything that was going on and on top of all of that, we were just in the midst of Thanksgiving and getting ready for Christmas and yeah. So that's why I haven't made a video in about a month. And I do want to show you my December budget for just like the bills that I have, but it's, it's not gonna be very accurate for the most part just because things will be ending, things will be starting. So I do think I'm just gonna sit down and show you like exactly like what I need to pay. And I do want to like show you down the road. Okay, so we're gonna do this project. This is what I'm budgeting for it. This is how much it costs me and things like that. But um, what's gonna be cool is we're not gonna have a mortgage. So 
Um, that'll be like a different type of looking at somebody's budget that doesn't have a mortgage. What do we do with the money that we um, have? Uh, how are we investing it in our 401, or not 401ks? Um, I think Alex's work offers an IRA and I need to get an IRA now. Um, but I mean, I, I, I definitely think you can do worse things with your 401k. The markets are bad right now. I mean, I feel like everything is just kind of like real estate and 401ks are kind of in my mind, kind of the same. Yeah. You're not getting that like interest and stuff like that with, that you do with a, um, IRA or anything like that. That's why we are going to set up an IRA here at some point soon and get that ball rolling again. But, um, I just did want to give you guys an update and tell you where I've been and that is where I've been and what I've been doing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, I probably will sit here and film a, just like my overall December budget, just my bills. I don't know. I mean, we still try to keep within like our food budgets and things like that, but with moving and driving to the house, the house is about 22 minutes away from my house currently. My gas, I've been filling up on gas a lot. So I just feel like everything is going to get a little like skewed just because of moving and it being Christmas time and all of these things. So I will sit down and film something, something, but, um, that's what we've been doing so far. And if you liked sitting down and wrapping presents with me, let me know. I can do some more. Um, I also thought it would be fun to like share like things that I'm getting for myself. <laughs> um, I know that seems ridiculous, but I feel like it's hard to find stuff for like people that are around your age group or something like that. Or even if you are buying for yourself because like maybe you're or just like say your mother-in-law asked you, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And maybe you don't know and you can just give them like, okay, this idea or this idea. So I was thinking it'd be fun to like show you exactly like the things that I've loved this year and maybe you'd want to get them for yourself too or tell somebody else to get them for you. Um, Cause I feel like a lot of the YouTube videos that I tend to see are for kids, things like that. So I think it's fun to watch videos that are maybe somebody else that's like you so that you have presents and good cheer <laughs> during the holidays as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.